Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create this colorful menu with uh, icons. Um, actually, what we're using here is uh, font icons, okay? And uh, this is the oxygen menu element. So we're going to be taking a look at how to use the font icon in the menu. Okay, so let's begin. Um, I have a page here in oxygen, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the header builder. Um, you could add a div or anything, but I up till now I still prefer using the header builder. So, okay, so um, yeah, so I'm gonna drop in um, I'm gonna drop in a, a menu there. Okay, so I need that menu to be in the third row. So I'm just gonna drag it and put it there. So I already have a menu created, so you can see my main navigation. You know, so it pulls in the. The navigation elements uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this hover background so I really don't like that okay the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna go to my menu now if I click this to drop down you can see that this menu have a navigation label so what we want to do is to put the font icon element you know beside this label for instance beside the about and to get that um, we're going to go to a website called um, font awesome bootstrap cheat sheets.com so it gives you the list of the font awesome okay and gives you the you know the codes that you, if you need the CSS the Unicode and the HTML tag so we're gonna use the HTML tag so for the about we're gonna use uh, let me just use the WordPress icon for about so I'm just gonna copy the HTML tag go back to the menu and just paste it there okay and um, then for services, what I need for services, um, I think I'm just going to put a star. Okay, so this, copy that. And uh, I'm going to paste it just before. Okay, and then for the portfolio, uh, what I'm going to use is, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to use this for the portfolio. paste that and for shop of course I'm gonna use a shop icon um, I think yeah I think I'll use let me use the shopping bag for a change uh, yep and then for accounts I'm just gonna use the this person icon user okay Okay, so we have that set up. I'm going to save the menu. Now, once the menu is saved, I'm going to check the front end and see what is going on. All right, so you can see that um, nothing happens, okay? Even though we have added the font icon tags, HTML tags to the menu. So you can see we have that here and it is not loading here. Um, Let's quickly refresh this. So we're gonna, I'm gonna refresh the, the builder. So let's see if it's gonna show up in the builder. So you can see the icon show up in the builder, but you know, even though we've added the, you know, the font awesome HTML tags, they do not show up here. So, um, you know, um, Oxygen has, you know, support for font awesome, but if you're going to be using it like this, you will need to load the font awesome externally using maybe a CDN link. And to do that, we're going to first of all install a plugin called um, um, Header Footer Code Manager. So, so I'm going to go ahead and just add that plugin because we need to copy the code from the font awesome, you know, CDN, the CDN link. Okay, we want to copy it into um to our inst wordpress installation so we we have header footer code manager header footer code manager and this is the plugin so i'm just going to install now and activate all right so it shows up here so i'm going to add new then i'm going to call this load fonts awesome all right, it's going to display side wide and I want it to um, load at the footer. 
and then uh, I'm gonna go to a website called um, cdnjs.com slash library slash font awesome okay so I'm gonna just copy this um, font awesome code um, you could choose the version that you want so I'm just gonna go with 4.7 okay so the first link here uh, font awesome CSS okay so I'm just gonna copy the link tag this is the one you want to copy so I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna paste it here okay and save so we're gonna go to the front end and refresh and you see the fonts awesome icon shows up so we're gonna do some styling here now we're gonna go into our editor and create a style sheet okay so let me just call this global style sheet and now there um, the font awesome icon now if you inspect the font awesome icon you can see that all font awesome icons have a class of fa you see so um, i'm just gonna add a margin left to this font awesome icon and then add um, maybe a hover effect to it just like we had on our sample so i'm gonna go here and then of course i would like to change my theme to dragula nope midnight i like this okay all right so um we're gonna just add the code font awesome margin right okay i'm just gonna give you 0 0.5 rem and then i want to give it a transition because i want to, it to have the hover effect so I want to give it a transition of seven, uh, three seconds. Okay. All right. And then, um, so as you can see that it already, you know, it already moves, um, it away by 0 0.5 rem. Of course, if we disable that, you can see that, you know, that's how it was. And this is how it is. Did I write three seconds? No, it should be 0 0.3 seconds. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I want to add the hover animation. Okay, so when I hover, I want the I want the menu item to you know the font of the font awesome icon to shift a little bit. Okay, so um, to do that now, if you take a look at the menu, the menu has a class of menu item. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna come here and just target that class and say. Um, menu dash item okay dot, dot, hover then i'm targeting the font awesome all right um so what i want is to transform it transform translate x okay i wanted to you know translate in the x uh, so i will just give that 0 0.2 rem okay all right so if i hover so you can see it's moving okay and maybe um the margin right should be a little bit more maybe 0 0.6 so that and then i want it to translate 0 0.3 okay so all right for some reason the shop doesn't have the icon let's see um, our menu probably missed something okay okay the front end okay everything so we just i think we just need to refresh this to for it to show it's showing here on the front end so i'm going to save that and then we're going to refresh the front end and see how it looks all right so you can see that this looks good okay we have that icon and then to add the multiple colors like we saw in our you know uh, the sample uh, what i'm going to do is this now i'm going to just take the just write um, a small css okay we're just going to write one line and then we'll copy it and paste so we target the menu item one more time okay and then we're going to use the nth child selector uh, to select the first child okay and then and we're going to target now we're saying menu item and child then the link item we're targeting the link item of each menu item and then we're going to give it a color okay now 
um, before I do that, I just want to go in and set um, my colors, okay? The colors I'm going to be using. So let me add a color. And then um, let me just add the first one is going to be like red, okay? I'm just going to call it red. I'm going to add it. I'm going to add my second color. Um, I want it to be orange. So I'm just going to move this here, okay? I'm going to call it orange. I'm going to add my third color. And my third color, I just want to move it down a bit like that towards green. Okay, I'm just going to call it green. So, like that. Okay, so that is turquoise. I'm just going to give it a short, short name. And uh, these will be like blue. Okay, so we need just one, two, three, four, five colors. Okay, uh, for just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna add the, the third color and um, a sixth color, the sixth one. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just calling this purple. All right. So we have that, and if you take a look at these colors, all these colors have IDs. So you have ID one, ID two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we're going back to our style sheet, and then I'm gonna just. Um, at a color so the first one I'm gonna just say color bracket one so you can see it has changed to red because our color ID is one okay so let's go back there so you can see the ID for the red is one so so I set the color to be color one okay I think I think I prefer this this color scheme all right so I set the color of the you know of the first child to be one. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste five or six times and then I'm going to change all this. So this will be the second child to change this to three, change this to four, change this to five, change this to six. Even though we don't have the sixth item, I just want to do that to show you that once you add another item, it's going to adapt and take, you know, that CSS is going to affect it. Okay. And then for the colors, so we have ID 1, 2, to 6. So I'm going to change the color ID here. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right, so you can see all the colors have changed. Okay, I think we are mostly done here. And uh, let's save that. And then let's refresh. So you can see everything looks great here. So the hover effect works beautifully, you know, the, the colors, you know, the good thing is the colors even, you know, affects the, the, the border. Okay. So I, I think that's, I like that. That's really cool. So that's all for that. It, it was quite simple and straightforward and did not take much time. So um, that's how to create a colorful, um, a colorful, you know, menu items. Now, if you go back to these and add the, maybe you just add one more, let's say, um, maybe I want to add maybe it's this sample page to the menu okay and then um, let me pick up maybe one of the icons just a sample maybe the one that has the heart okay and then put there so because I already have you know a CSS defined for the sixth item okay the end child six so if I refresh this it's going to it's going to take that okay so you can see it adds that with the color that I added there and everything still looks great so that's how to create that this these colorful menu items with the font awesome icons I hope you learned something new and uh, looking forward to another great tutorial please do subscribe like and share this video and I'll see you some other time have a great day